So you want to learn computer science in 2022? The New Year's are coming. They're right around the corner, actually. Christmas is two days away, three days away, and New Year's is next week, you know? We literally have a little over seven days until we are in 2022. And usually when 2020, well, when a new year comes, not just 2022, we wanna better ourselves, you know? We start going to the gym for like two weeks and then quit. Um, we decide to be more productive, you know, drink more water, be more outgoing, you know? And we, we do these things for the first couple of days and then we go back into our old habits. But I'm actually here to try to uplift everyone, mainly people who wanna learn how to program in 2022. Because maybe you just found out about programming and you feel like, you know, you dabbled in it a little bit, but you know, you know what, you feel like 2022 is the year you're gonna take it very seriously. Or maybe you have already started, but you haven't been as consistent as you want to, that's me. I'm gonna give all of you some tips on where to start and how to be consistent with your coding. Well, from personal experience, this isn't like anything scientific or anything. Now, the first thing that you wanna do is pick a programming language. Don't spend too much time picking a programming language because once you learn one, it's really easy to learn another one. So pick one that you think would be very beneficial to you or that you're very interested in at the moment. So like, for example, if you're going to college next semester, you know that you want to get into CS, but you haven't really been coding yet. And you know that your college uses Java, start learning Java. Or maybe you're self-taught and you know you want to do web dev and you know that the frame, well not the framework, but the programming language that's very popular for that is JavaScript, learn JavaScript. Don't think too hard on this part because we're just trying to get you started. Overthinking hinders us a lot. You know, you think, oh, which programming language should I do? I really want to start coding, but I don't know which programming language to start on. And you know, you wanted to start learning two weeks ago and for two weeks you've been thinking about a pro. Don't think that hard, just pick one. Second, you want to pick a learning platform. Now I've learned through Codecademy, it was very beneficial but I think I learned best through Udemy. So really it's just how you learn best. There are a lot of free resources on the internet. Like you have free code camp. They also have a YouTube channel where they just throw out free videos. The videos can be hours long and they go in very good detail on whatever topic that it is. There's a YouTube channel called Bro Code. He makes a lot of free courses for his YouTube channel also. And I recommend him also. Now the thing with learning through YouTube videos and learning through Udemy is when you're learning through YouTube videos, well, I mean, you could come across like, you know, the free courses, which are good. Sometimes you'll start learning and then you don't really know where to go next. Or maybe you do, but like it's kind of sporadic. Like for example, let's say you start learning JavaScript and you just learned how to create a variable and everything. And then you start learning how to add variables together and then right after that, you found out that you can actually manipulate things on a web page. So you start learning that, even though it's like out of your thing, just because you're interested and you see that you can do that and you're like, wow, I can't believe I can, I don't know. It, just, it's, it gets very sporadic. With courses, in my experience, it's just one straight path. Well, technically in the course that I have, it, he actually gives you multiple paths, but one straight path and then you get into your destination. Be consistent. Now, in order to be consistent, because it's easy to tell you to be consistent, but how, how, do you, how do you actually be consistent? There's days you wake up and you don't feel like doing anything. There's days that you're busy and you miss out and then you're like, oh man, I missed yesterday, I feel bad. And then for some reason you don't do it the day after that. The best way to work on consistency is to work when you don't feel like it. The only motivation that you need is actually doing what you wanna do. When you start to see progress, that's being made, that motivates you even more because you've actually been doing it. If you go to the gym, even though you don't want to, after like four months, you start to see that you have a six pack. And you're like, what, is that a six pack? I'm going back. You motivated yourself because you kept going. Using accountability something, like anything. It could be a person, it could be your girlfriend, maybe your kid. It could be like how I'm doing it a YouTube channel or Instagram or just any social media. You know, maybe you could like tweet every day about what you learn. I've actually found that this works the best because before I started my YouTube channel, I would go like, like months 
without coding. Like I would code a little bit, you know, learn an if statement and then life just kind of happened. And then I feel like I don't know anything again. So then I would start relearning the programming language that I already know from the beginning. And then like, they would be like, okay, so this is a variable. And I'm like, oh, I know this already. And I would just like skip through and try to get to where I was. But I kind of don't really remember where I was because I haven't coded in like months. Just be consistent. It'll get rid of all of that. It, it'll just take all of the, the frustration that you would have with being inconsistent, just throw it all out the window. When I started my YouTube channel, I was, making in the beginning i was making videos i still do but i was making videos about new projects that i were that i was making man i was actually coming up with new projects and like learning concepts that i know that i didn't understand like oh i forgot what this keyword was or recursion you know things like that so for the past year has been my most consistent year with coding but i still haven't i still don't feel like i've been as consistent as i could so um 2022 my my goals are actually to code more, but not every day. But whenever I do code, at least put in like two hours, nah, one hour, maybe three days a week because I have class and I want to I want to really focus on my classes. I want to get my GPA up. So I'm really going to really going to go in this next year with like a scholarly mindset. And you know what? I'm going to get there. I really only have three things to share with you, but I'm going to give some people advice. So if you know that you want to start coding, but you don't know exactly what programming language you want to do or like which route you want to go down or, you know, anything, I would recommend that you start with HTML, CSS and JavaScript. Just because when I was learning Java, no, actually I first started learning Python and everything was just in the console and i mean they were programs they, they were working one time i had a i had math homework and i had like, like i didn't feel like I, I didn't feel like doing the math homework so i created a program inside the console on i think it was vs code and it just you know it was just a calculator and it just knocked out all the answers for me that's when i felt like i was actually going somewhere but overall you're just like Okay, I'm just in the console, you know, when you think of programming, you think of like, you know, websites or Facebook, Instagram, or like, maybe like a, a calculator app, you know, you think of things like that. So when you when you realize that, you don't know, have a graphical user interface. Yeah, you can learn how to create a GUI in Java. But I personally think that if you create a website, and then manipulate it with JavaScript, that you'll stick to it more because you can see your progress like in a user interface if that makes sense i feel like it should make sense i really hope you guys understand what i was trying to say but thank you for watching my video i really do appreciate it don't forget to like comment and subscribe follow me on instagram and twitter on both of those my name is jordan the cs don't forget to join my discord my discord is in the link below don't forget to smash that like button. And um, I think I said that already. But I'll see all of you in my next video. And uh, happy holidays. I'm insecure still. And she's starting to notice. She think my feelings are bogus. But really she is my bonus. I don't like how I wrote this. Because it's